Hey, people, you're back with Bunky. Okay, we're going to be looking at the last lot of my builds. Now, these are the Vanguards. I love all of these guys. I really do. Um, it's just always uh, high speed and highly intense gameplay when you're playing as a Vanguard because you're just getting stuck in uh, with the Biotic Charge ability here. Okay, now for Biotic Charge, what I always recommend for your first evolution is that you go with the Radius. Okay, this is going to allow you to knock back three enemies with each strike. And that's uh, going to be essential, okay, guys? Otherwise, you're going to be flying in, knocking back one enemy, and then the rest of that group is still going to be there bombarding you you're going to get wrecked on your initial strike uh, the radius is going to rectify that and knock them all back off you okay and then for this character, the the uh, the human vanguard, you want power synergy for the next evolution. Okay, this is going to increase all your power damage and your force of those powers by forty percent after each biotic charge. And you will be charging all of the time because this is how vanguards stay alive. If you look at this last evolution, this is what I also always recommend: is barrier. This increases your powers by an additional fifty percent, so that every time you do a biotic charge, you get twice the barriers that you start with. Okay, guys, and um, what the game doesn't tell you is you also get fifty percent uh, damage reduction. Uh, for five seconds as well. Okay, and this is how the vanguards do what they do. They charge in, they get stronger, they do their bit, and then they charge back in again. Okay, guys. Uh, for this guy, I'm not going to bother with shockwave. I'm just going to be playing with Nova. Okay, this is what I'll be doing. Um, for the first evolution, don't bother with the radius, guys, because you've just charged in, you're right in the enemy's face. How far away do you need to be, okay, guys? Just go get the force and damage so that your Nova hurts, okay? And on this particular Nova card, this is my male, I go with the power recharge evolution. This increases the recharge speed of all my powers by 25% for 15 seconds, and it stacks, okay? So every time I complete a Nova strike, uh, my power re recharge gets faster and faster and faster, okay, guys? So I can essentially just uh, charge a Nova forever if there's enough enemies around and uh, you know this is and I'm able to survive that uh, of that onslaught because I'm I'm charging in I'm staggering the enemy uh, then I'm Nova and then obviously I've got the extra barriers and the damage reduction frames then I Nova and during this fr those frames of animation I'm actually completely invulnerable to projectiles the only thing that's going to knock you out of Nova is something that staggers you and it's only going to knock you out not damage you okay and uh, so I'm completely invulnerable when I'm doing that and then I hit then I actually complete Nova and I stagger the enemy again okay guys uh, and this is how you survive you just do that onslaught because as soon as the Nova is complete then I've got the power recharge and flicking round and then I can just sort of, I can roll out the way then to avoid any uh, d damage from surviving enemies and then get some more damage reduction frames that way and then I can charge in again and repeat the process over and over and over again and just wreck up the place with the Nova guard, okay guys? A lot of fun you can have with this guy. The final evolution you always want Pierce, okay? This is going to allow you to do 100% uh, more damage to all the resistances, barriers, shields and armour okay? So that you're really just doing up the place okay? <laughs> now for your lines training it's all about power damage okay guys so go with the damaging capacity and the power damage and uh, then you can take some weapon damage this is going to help you uh, when it's not um, safe to charge in for your fitness, take all the health and shields you can get, durability, shield recharge, and fitness expert, okay guys? And then you've got everything you need to survive then, with the whole battle plan I just gave you a second ago. Uh, when it's not safe to charge in and do that whole Nova thing though, you can uh, hold back and start firing this gun here, the Paladin. I stick on the heavy barrel for the extra damage and I got the power magnifier then, okay? So that's going to increase my Nova damage again so when I am actually doing that normal attack string. But the, the Paladin is like a sniper rifle in your pocket. So when I'm out, so, so when it's not safe to attack an enemy because they're about to sink kill somebody, for instance, okay? I can just uh, pop some shots in with the Paladin and still do some really good damage, okay, guys, from far. For his equipment, I recommend that you go with an elemental ammo because both Nova and Biotic Charge will detonate. That's what the Vanguards are fantastic for. Okay, they really do front line for the team because they detonate everybody's explosions with ev pretty much everything they do, and uh, you know, and they just lock up the enemy in that respect. Okay, guys, but um, if you rock your own elemental ammo, you can do your own explosions. Okay, guys, so I like to go with the disruptor rounds. So you know, on top of all that, uh, that crowd control that I was mentioning earlier and all that nice survivability, I'm stunning the enemy as well and stripping shields and stuff so that my Nova is really just getting through to the health and wrecking everything, okay guys? So that's why I like to go with him disruptor around so I can set off tech burst and stuff. Uh, the armor bonus, really, you don't need to worry about a cyclonic modulator. I know it looks like it's dangerous, but biotic charge is all you need to survive. Just make sure you can charge all of the time, okay, guys? And you're always going to get your barriers up. Just go with the power magnifier, uh, amplifier, sorry, so that you just dead the enemy on your attacks. Um, for his gear bonus, I go with the commando package, so that's more power damage, but I also got something buffing up my uh, pistol, there, okay, my paladin. And then obviously I want a pistol rail lamp then, so I'm just going to finish them off when I'm working the distance game. 
Now, my next character is the, uh, the human vanguard again. Okay, this is my alternative one uh, on the female uh, human vanguard. Uh, the build's very much the same. There's one minor difference uh, that... Um, basically uh, dramatically shifts the game actually you'll be surprised uh, biotech charge you want exactly the same go with the radius the power synergy and the barrier okay guys uh, i uh, free ranks into shockwave here okay because uh, when i'm playing the long distance game then i can just throw in the shockwave this is going to detonate um any kind of powers that's been put on the enemies because this is my sort of team nova guard okay guys uh, this is what i like to roll out when i'm playing with, a, with my teammates who have got a lot of great uh priming powers okay so if i can't uh, charging a nova to detonate their powers i can stand back and just shockwave nova then i spec for the force and damage and then i go with the half blast build okay this is a, a half blast is um arguably the better build for Nova, to be perfectly honest with you guys, okay? Because um, uh, the half blast means that you only use up half of your barriers with each Nova, so you can essentially get two of these out of the per biotic charge, and they only reduce the damage by 40% rather than 50 so the two uh, uh, Novas end up doing more damage than that one Nova that you were doing before. Uh, still, what's most important about this is the fact that I'm doing two Novas per biotic charge, so that's essentially three combos I can detonate with this in one attack string with this character. I can charge in, I can Nova, and I can Nova. You've also just got a lot more flexibility then, because um, if you've charged in and you've nova and the situation and the situation has turned out to be more dangerous than you expected, I've still got half of my barriers then, so I can retreat and I can play the long distance game then with half my barriers and I can charge in another time, okay? So you've just got more flexibility and it's easier to survive with a half blast build. Finally, though, you still want to use Pierce, okay, for the damage. Uh, alliance training then just go with the uh, damage in capacity and the power damage and then you still want all your fitness, okay, guys? Durability, shield recharge and fitness expert. Uh, weapons the same, okay, guys? I still stick with the Paladin for the same reasons. Heavy barrel on it, uh, power magnifier on it. And then the equipment, I recommend the same thing again, okay guys, uh, stick with the disruptor rounds. Um, unless you're playing with a biotic death squad, okay guys, you might want to switch over to the incendiary rounds, you've got fire explosions there. And uh, for your armor bonus, power amplifier still, okay guys, and then for your gear bonus, commando package still, <laughs> okay. And obviously you want the pistol rail lamp still, okay. It is the same character, but the half blast does uh, change things up significantly, okay, give them a go. Okay, then, the next uh, Vanguard I don't play, okay, it's the Drell uh, Vanguard, and it's because him and the Asari are very much the same thing, okay, guys, it is just charging in and throwing grenades at the enemies, okay, very, very powerful grenades. I'm going to show you the Asari Vanguard uh, a little early now, just so I can uh, make my point, okay, you still want uh, Biotic Charge, the same as I had it on my Nova Guards, okay, guys, go with the Radius, the Power Synergy, because now that's going to amp up your grenades by 40%, okay, because they're powers, your grenades, and then you get the Barrier. And then for the rest of it, I'm going to just jump over to my Drell Adept here, because um, they've got all the same abilities then. Now, you could uh, you could put three ranks into pull. Okay, that's going to be quite cool. You can just uh, completely rip a phantom off a, um, a footing once a barrier's down and wreck her that way. But honestly, you don't need it, okay? If you spec um, your uh, passives correctly, you're going to have a 1,000 newtons force in your biotic charge, and you'll be able to stagger a phantom every time you uh, you charge into her, and then she won't be able to fight back then, okay, guys? Then you can just charge in, hit her with the cluster grenades, and kill her. Now, the cluster grenades, I recommend that you spec for uh, force and damage, then max grenades. You could take the damage combo if you went with Paul, okay, guys, because then you would actually uh, benefit from the damage combo because they would be primed biotically for a nice, uh, powerful uh, cluster grenade hit. But otherwise, just go with the max grenades because you're not you're not going to be uh, setting up any explosions otherwise. And then you want to go with shrapnel because you're always going to do more damage with three pieces than you are two. Okay, guys, and that's that's the game plan with the drill. Okay, you just charge in, throw cluster grenades, and uh, it wrecks up the place, especially when you go with the uh, the damaging capacity and power damage. Okay, it's uh, that power damage that gets you enough force in your biotic charge. Okay, guys, to stagger that phantom and why you don't really need pull. Uh, and then you can obviously just go with the uh, weapon damage then on him if you didn't bother with pull, which I, I recommend you don't. To be perfectly honest, and then you got something for your long distance game. And then you just want all health and shields then, durability, shield recharge and fitness expert, okay guys? And you know, this that's the game plan, guys, you just charge in and you throw cluster grenades, okay? Cluster grenades are great because they'll detonate all sorts of powers and you can set, and you can detonate three explosions at a time with them, so your teammates are going to love having a drill guard on their team, but you know, you can set up your own powers too. I'd recommend uh, sticking with the hurricane that I got here, okay guys? Stick on the high velocity barrel so you can wreck up armour. 
and uh, the power magnifier so your cluster grenades are even stronger again okay guys and then you can basically just stream out bullets uh, that, uh, in between your cluster grenade hits okay you can just charge in cluster grenade and shoot enemies and basically reload cancel with your cluster grenades when you're dealing with the big armor targets and you, you can just detonate uh, nice explosions with your own ammo rounds then okay uh, go with uh, incendiary rounds on this guy for some nice uh, fire explosions to wreck armor with Okay, guys, because with the three uh, cluster grenade explosions, you've got plenty of crowd control, don't you worry. And uh, then you'd want the uh, power amplifier on him, too, okay, guys, because you're going to do some incredible damage that way. And then the gear bonus is oh, your cluster grenades are going to be flying all over the place, guys. You're going to be really spamming those, so make sure you've got grenade capacity on. And uh, obviously, then you just need an SMG rail amp. See, now I'm going to go back down now to my Asari Vanguard, and you're going to see just how similar the gameplay is okay guys because uh, the best way to play here is the same okay guys you just want to be charging and throwing in your grenade okay um Biotic charges I showed you, radius, uh, power synergy, and barrier. Uh, I don't recommend stasis, okay, guys? If you really fully spec that out, you probably do it the same way I go out on my Asari Adept, okay, guys? And you'd only have three points into your fitness. And that would be great for locking up the phantoms, but again, with the right uh, build of uh, your passives there, you're going to have enough force to just keep a phantom off her footing anyway. She might as well just charge her and hit her with the lift grenades. These things are powerful, okay, guys? Go with uh, the damage. You really don't need the radius on these things, okay? You've already got five meters by default, okay, guys? Um, then you definitely want max grenades for the next evolution because the duration is ridiculous. Okay, the duration means you'll lift uh, enemies that you hit with lift grenades longer. But the only enemies you can lift with the lift grenades are ones that don't have any protection whatsoever. So they've got no shields, no barriers, and definitely no armor. And a target you hit with a lift grenade <laughs> that's got no protection is dead. Okay, so that's basically all that duration is going to do is allow you to lift corpses for longer. So just take the max grenades. Okay, guys. And for the same reason, you don't want slam. Okay, guys, because you can only slam enemies you've lifted so basically you get to slam corpses into the ground with that evolution forget it go with the damage and radius now you've got a really powerful grenades and they've got a 6.5 meter radius okay uh, for the Asari Justicar, go with the damaging capacity and the power damage. Okay, so now you've got the force there and your grenades are just wrecking up the place. You've got the weapon damage then to support your long distance battles. And then you want all health and shields, durability, shield recharge and fitness expert. Okay, essentially the difference between her and the Drell Guard is the fact that uh, she takes care of herself better. Whereas the Drell Guard works better with a team, to be honest. Because cluster grenades will detonate uh, anything, okay, or on anything. Whereas the lift grenades, as I explained, need can only detonate anything enemies that you can lift okay guys so she and you know they're damn sight more accurate as well okay so uh, you know the lift uh, cluster grenades can go all over the place but lift grenades will go where you fling them and they'll explode on contact okay so you can really just go in for nice precision strikes that do a lot of damage with the sari fanga whereas the drug can just fly in and blow up the place okay so yeah very similar gameplay but one's really sort of team orientated the other one sort of takes care of herself to be perfectly honest uh the weapon i recommend for her is the talon Okay, because as I said with the lift grenades twice now, is that uh, they can't uh, detonate anything that has got shields or barriers on, so the talent's going to take their care of that for you. Stick on the heavy barrel and the power magnifier, okay guys, and then you can just strip shields and blow stuff up with her. Uh, the equipment I recommend for her is uh, the Disruptor Rounds again, okay guys, so you can really keep the enemy stunned and locked down, and obviously the tech burst you can detonate with your biotic charge and stuff then, it's really going to get those shields off so your lift grenade does maximum damage, okay? Uh, for the armor bonus, still stick with the power amplifier, guys, and just wreck up the place, and uh, for your gear bonus, you still want grenade capacity, okay guys, because you are throwing grenades all over the shop, and then you want a pistol rail lamp, okay, to help out with your talent there. Okay, next up. Okay, this is Mr. Crutch here. This is the, the Krogan Battlemaster. He doesn't die unless he lets you kill him. Okay, guys, this guy is an immeasurable tank. Okay, it's uh, nigh impossible to be killed with this guy. Um, <laughs> it really is. Now, his biotic charge is a little bit different. Uh, it's slower than everybody else's, but it's got a lot more damage and force behind it. It can, uh, by default, already stagger a phantom without even specking for extra power damage. Okay, guys? Um, so just go with the uh, radius on this guy. You can go with the melee build with the melee synergy, but I prefer the weapon synergy. Okay, so the 25% increase after each charge. I do, uh, sorry, I, after each charge, I got a 25% increase to my weapon damage. And uh, once I'm cl up close in the enemy's face, my weapon is going to destroy them. Okay, guys? And then I go with the barrier 
And then you can sort of mix the sort of extra shields and the damage reduction from biotic charge with his actual barrier ability here. Okay, guys, if you spec this for uh, the barrier strength. Uh, go to the power synergy then, okay, because like I said earlier, you're doing extra damage and force with his biotic charge. So it really does work nicely with his, uh, the power synergy on barrier. You can kill a lot of mooks with just his charge. And then go with the power synergy so you can get his charge off reliably. Because like I said, that's what keeps the vanguards alive, okay, just be the ability to charge constantly and keep their shields up. Okay, guys, so now, and even then, I've still got a 30% damage reduction stacking up with the damage, the 50% from biotic charge for an 80% damage reduction. And if you take a look at his rage mode here, spec for durability, okay? Uh, you don't need shield recharge for the reasons I just explained. You can charge and get your shields back anytime, okay? So go with the martial artist on this guy. So if you do decide to knock something out, uh, your, your further punches will be stronger, okay? Your future punches, I mean. And then go with the fitness expert on this guy. So then you get increased damage protection in rage mode as well, which is weird, okay? Because uh, his biotic charge sets off rage mode, okay? So you can get further damage reduction again, okay? You can get a 30% damage reduction just by charging into enemies and killing them. And you can charge into enemies and kill them because we've got the barrier strength and uh, power synergy as well just amping it all up it's uh He's just unkillable, okay, guys? Uh, you need to take this into consideration now. We've got 1,850 1, health and barriers. We can charge in with Biotic Charge and get a 50% damage reduction and uh, double our barriers. We can then... You have, we've got the barrier on the whole time, okay, guys? So, um, our bi so our Biotic Charge is doing more damage and we've got another 30% damage reduction. The fact that our charge is uh, doing more damage, we're killing more enemies with it and we're setting ourselves into Rage Mode, which gives us another 30% damage reduction. And this is why the Krogan Vanguard doesn't go down, okay, guys? He's just got so... He can just take so much damage because of all of these things acting on each other, okay, guys? And um, if you go for uh, for the Krogan Battlemaster, just go with the damage and capacity so that you're light enough to keep charging and keep that incredible damage reduction up, okay, guys? And then you can just go with the headshots. You don't need the power damage, okay? Like I said, his biotic charge has got a lot of force in it already. I can just do more weapon damage with the headshot evolution and then I take weapon damage then. Okay, and then the weapon I like to stick on him is the ultimate for close range weapon. It's the Riga Carbine. He's going to melt enemies with this. I want to stay light again, okay, because Barrier does slow down your recharge speed. That's why I spec that for the recharge speed. And uh, I'm making sure I haven't got any heavy mods on this. I'm just going with the Shredder mod and the high caliber barrel, okay, guys. So I can just get the charge on frequently and never die. And the enemy are going to get wrecked by the Riga Carbine in this guy's hand, okay, because obviously Biotic Charge is making my weapon damage go up too. <laughs> it's just it, everything just gels fast. Far too well on this guy for he'll never go down, and especially if you start doing this with his equipment. Okay, guys, go with um, in Sindri rounds on him, okay guys, so when you're dealing with the bosses you can just charge in, empty a clip, set the enemy on fire, charge back in, fire explosion empty another clip, they're dead, okay guys you're going to be doing wicked damage against the bosses that way for his armor bonus, just go to town guys, make sure that you ne health is never an issue, just go with the cyclonic modulator on him, okay guys, for another hundred if you've got the number 4 on, you've got another 150% uh, increase to your shields for the gear bonus, I literally just r rubbed that salt in the wound, you can go with the shotgun amp and just do the get the damage done, but you're going to do the damage anyway guys, uh, just go with something like a shield booster for another 30% shield okay guys you will not die the only thing that's going to kill you is a sink kill okay guys and, and all those sink kills can be uh, you know handled fine just check out the video guide I tell you how to deal with all the sink kill enemies and for your weapon bonus obviously just get a shotgun rail lamp in okay guys and then it's just easy easy streak barrier on charge and shoot uh, with the Krogan battle master okay now, uh, this is the Phoenix Vanguard. He's, uh, these, fang uh, these Phoenix characters have got a really cool heavy melee. Okay? It's got a nice air of effect to it, and it's fun to play with on this character because you can just essentially just charge in and heavy melee uh, all the enemies. For his biotic charge, I recommend you go with the, the radius and the power synergy again. Okay, That's going to help up our smash ability, which is going to be used to take out bosses and stuff, because his uh, heavy melee is not going to be very good at them. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain later. And then go with the barrier, of all, as always. Um, I'm going to jump over to his fitness now to show you how to get the melee ready. Go the durability because this guy is squishy, he's a human. Uh, go the martial artist then, okay, so you're going to increase your uh, melee damage every time you kill an enemy with a heavy melee. And it is his heavy melee that you want to be using. And then go with the power synergy, okay, okay, so when you kill an enemy with a melee, okay, uh, uh, sorry, this increases your melee damage, but when you kill an enemy with a melee, you increase your power damage as well. So this is really going to just, so when you're just taking out all the trash mobs with the charge and melee attack, okay, you're going to be all uh, amped up, ready to take on the bosses. And you're going to take on the bosses with Smash, okay, guys? I recommend you build Smash for... Uh, go for the electrical damage, okay, guys? Because, um... 
Smash hits hard, it really does hit nice and hard uh, with the initial strike, okay guys, but with the electrical damage you're going to do 50% uh, additional damage over 7.5 seconds and that will stack. So the more you smash the enemy, the more damage uh, over time you do, okay guys, so you can really just uh, melt enemies with your smash ability. And uh, then you want to go with uh, force and damage, so you're getting the damage out and uh, the armor damage, so you're wrecking those bosses, okay. And then the Phoenix training is going to be power damage. Okay, guys, go with the damaging capacity and power damage. So you've got the force and you're doing the damage with your smash for the bosses. And then take the weapon damage because the weapons are going to really support what you're doing. Don't bother with Lash on this guy. Uh, Lash is a ridiculous power on a Vanguard. It really is. Um, okay, for the weapon. Your main weapon should be the Acolyte on this guy. Okay, uh, stick on the... Uh, melee stunner okay that's going to increase your melee damage and then you've got the power magnifier as well so it's going to amp up your biotic charge and stuff so you're really going to be able to just get the damage done really nicely this guy because you can basically strip the enemy shields charge in send them flying and then with the nice area of effect damage of your heavy melee you're going to finish them off okay guys um when the bosses start rearing their ugly heads you whip out the wraith okay now I'm going to recommend you stick on the Omni Blade for this as well, even though I told you not to melee. Uh, well, you're not going to charge and melee the bosses, okay guys? You are going to melee the bosses, so that's why you want this on. And then go with the high velocity bar for the damage increase and the piercing. And basically you get to do this cool little string with this guy, okay guys? Because what you want to do, you want to find yourself some nice uh, soft cover to work from that you're going to strafe in and out of to attack the bosses with. Because uh, your um, your smash ability goes through walls and uh, it leaves you incredibly vulnerable when you're doing so, so that you absolutely want to be doing it through walls and stuff. And essentially what you do, guys, is uh, you uh, you smash... Okay, and then you can actually cancel the end of the smash ability with a heavy melee. For, so you've got that nice area effect, so you're putting in that damage. So rather than just doing a long animation for some damage, okay, you're getting two hits out in the same length of time. And then you can strafe out and shoot with the wraith and strafe back in and retreat the smash heavy melee thing, okay? And uh, what's great is as soon as you've done the second shot with the wraith, you go straight back into smashing and heavy meleeing again, okay? You get the wraith is automatically going to reload itself, and then you can just string that damage out nicely, okay, and really wreck up the bosses. Um, check out the video guide, it's, uh, it's shown to you there and it's made a lot clearer. Uh, for the equipment, I recommend the disruptor rounds on this guy, okay guys, so that you, you really can just do the full damage with your uh, your melee attack. You uh, you shoot them with the, the acolyte, you strip off the shields, you set up a tech burst, you charge and you detonate the tech burst, which keeps them stunned, and then you heavy melee, because unfortunately heavy melee leaves him just like smash, leaves him incredibly vulnerable, because he's just standing there doing his little flary bit, okay guys, so just make sure there's no incoming fire coming your way. And uh, for the same reason, I actually recommend a cyclonic modulator on this guy, okay guys, because his attacks do leave him incredibly vulnerable. Uh, for his gear bonus, uh, go with the Juggernaut Shields, okay guys? So you've got the uh, uh, extra melee strength and the shield strength there. And then it's a melee build, so go with the uh, Strength Enhancer for your uh, weapon bonus. Okay guys, and that's the uh, Phoenix. Now the next one, the uh, N7 Slayer here, he's uh, again, he's another sort of charging and melee character, but uh, he's got uh, a lot more uh, tankage going on with him, because he's not, he doesn't leave himself very vulnerable when he's doing his bit, okay? Um, his biotic charge is the same again, okay guys, go with the radius, the power synergy, and the barrier. Okay, so I'll get back into face disrupt in a moment. His fitness, um, go with the melee damage first on him, okay, guys? And uh, then, actually, rather than martial artist, go with the shield recharge, okay? Because uh, his heavy melee is not very good. It's his light melee that's fantastic. I'll get into that into a second. But, um, yeah, but the shield recharge is really going to help out your face disruptor attack, okay? Which I'll explain um, later as well. <laughs> just sort of really just sort of looping over here. But I'll get it. I will make it clear in a moment, guys. And for the final one, take the power synergy, okay, guys? So when you kill an enemy with the melee attack, your power damage increases so it's going to work like we just did with the Phoenix Vanguard there, and we're going to be able to wreck bosses with the phase disruptor. Now what you want to be doing with this guy is charging in and doing his uh, light melee string, which is three uh, light attacks where he phases in and out of reality uh, while he does it, okay? And when he's doing that, he's got an amazing damage reduction uh, and that's going to obviously stack it with this biotic charge that you've done initially. So you can just charge in and a light melee and you'll, the enemy won't be able to put out enough damage to kill you, okay guys, because you're going to be st staggering him with every hit of the light melee as well. It's a really fast string with some great uh, damage reduction so you can just really uh, get stuck in with this guy okay um, for when the boss is rear their ugly head you want to start rocking the phase disruptor remember you've been killing a lot of trash mobs with your light melee so you're really amped up at this point spec your phase disruptor for the damage okay guys uh, go don't bother with knockdown go with an efficient blast this is going to allow you to fire off the phase disruptor five times per biotic charge and then go with the armor damage so you can really wreck up those bosses 
And then what you want to be doing then is charging in, uh, evasive rolling back. And his evasive maneuvers are amazing. He literally teleports about the place. So you can get some really great distance from the enemy after you've charged in. So you just charge in, phase back, and then phase disrupt it, okay? And hit the enemy five times. And then you just, once it's all, when you're all out of barriers, you charge back in and you repeat the process, okay, guys? And you can just wreck bosses that way. Uh, for the N7 Slayer, I go with the uh, damaging capacity and power damage for the biotic force, uh, uh, the, sorry, the charge force and obviously the, the damage for your phase disruptor and then go with the weapon damage because uh, I think that's going to be more useful for you than biotic slash. I've got the same issues with biotic slash as I do with electrical slash, okay guys, unless you're really going to spec for it, it's just kind of cumbersome and you're not really going to get much use out of it. The weapons are pretty much, uh, the weapon plan at least, sorry, it's going to be very much the same as I got with the Phoenix, okay guys, get the Millie Stunner and the Power Magnifier on your Acolyte again, okay guys, for the same reason, you can just uh, strip the shields, charge in and wreck them with your melee string, okay, uh, but then for the bosses, you can now switch to something nice and lightweight like the Hurricane, okay, that's got a nice DPS, but the high velocity bow, so you're really going to wreck up the armor there, and you've got the Power Magnifier to help your phase disruptor, okay, so because um, there's a good chance that you're going to get shot uh, before you can get your five shots of the face disruptor out so you know um before while you're waiting for your uh, biotic charge to come back round you can just uh, drill into them with a hurricane okay and then you can charge in and face disruptor all over again you might never use your hurricane to be perfectly honest but it's there for support if you need it um, for the equipment, I still recommend the disrupt the rounds, okay, for the same reason, just really lock up the enemy, get those shields down so that you're doing the max damage with your melee and your power attack there. Uh, for your armor bonus, um, probably still stick with the Cyclonic Modulator, to be perfectly honest. Like I said before, uh, he's really great in his, in his melee string against tra uh, trash mobs, but um, in his uh, when he's taken on the bosses, okay, guys, he's actually quite vulnerable, okay, because he is throwing his shields at the enemy, and they can uh, they can uh, take those shields off him a lot faster, and then he's kind of left a bit vulnerable. So the Cyclonic Modulator is going to help best with him, okay, guys. You can go with a power amplifier on him, though, okay, guys, because he is so much more uh, efficient uh, as, an, as a melee vanguard, okay, guys guys you really could and that's going to make your disruptor um the phase disruptor do more damage in fact fuck it go with a power amplifier okay guys um the cyclic modulator if you're struggling but the power amplifier for the main part uh you still want the juggernaut shields though okay guys because uh, you you are getting right into the thick of it and stuff so that's going to help you with your melee attacks i think i recommend all melee um builds have the juggernaut shields okay guys because they do uh, leave themselves quite vulnerable uh, even with all those damage reduction frames okay guys because it only takes somebody to sort of stun you uh, and then you know you're going to get wrecked okay guys and then for your uh, um, weapon bonus go with the strength enhancer okay guys so you're doing some nice melee damage Okay, the next guy is the little Volus protector here and he's essentially my mini Krogan battle master <laughs> Now, um, with him, it's essentially the same gameplay as uh, the Krogan Battlemaster, but he's uh, definitely more flexible. Because um, uh, with all the vanguards, they're really best. Uh, f the best thing they can do for the team is just constantly be on the attack, okay, guys? Literally, they're just taking all the aggro, because they can just absorb it all and get their health back constantly and really just piss off the enemy. That's what they're best doing. Whereas the Volus here, he can really get involved with more of the objectives and helping the team out, uh, you know, reviving and stuff like that. So um, what I'd like to do with his biotic charge is it's like the Krogan Battlemaster. Go with the radius, uh, the weapon synergy and the barriers, okay guys? So that when you charge in you've got some nice weapon damage. But uh, really you're only going to be using biotic charge on this guy to sort of close the gap and uh, sort of amp up your damage, okay guys? So what you want to be getting around the map real quickly by finding enemies and just charging into them. And then what you will be doing is shooting them and reload cancelling with your shield boost, okay guys? You're going to be spamming shield boost on this guy to stay alive. So I recommend you build it with uh, shield and instead of regeneration go with the recharge speed so that you can do that and then go with the protection okay so you've got the damage reduction and that's what you're going to be doing you can basically hold your ground with this guy by just emptying your your clip into them uh, once you sort of biotic charge and then just staying alive with the shield boost uh ability and you will be able to spam these because you can go if you get the biotic orbs here and you can spec these for the recharge speed it doesn't matter what the first evolution is to be honest i go with the impact radius okay because if i do need to knock an enemy back that's got too close I, i'm going to do it more easily with that uh, evolution but it's the next two that matter if you go with the recharge speed and the orb count okay i got four orbs spinning around me to give me a 15 percent increase each okay guys so i'm, I'm going to be able to shield boost and biotic charge very rapidly now for the volish training i like to go with uh, the weapon damage on here 
him, but then you're going to need the uh, power damage if you want to get the force in your biotic charge, okay, guys? And then you go with the weapon damage, okay, because he's going to need all the damage boost he can, because Folus's don't have a, a good damage output unless you really spec for it. No fitness on this guy, so I can get all those powers working, but um, you are going to be able to survive just because you can spam shield boost the way I've explained, okay? Uh, you really don't want to be messing around, though. You want to be doing as much damage as you can at that range, so get the Riga Carbine on him. Stay light again with the Shredder mod and the High Calibre Barrel. Okay, guys, and then you're just basically going to charge in and uh, wreck them with the Riga Carbine, okay, guys? So, uh, get the incendiary rounds on this guy so you can get the fire explosions into the mix so you can really uh, capitalise on the on that damage output. Uh, the armor bonus, you will need a Cyclonic Modulator because without one, uh, you are one shot and you're going to die. Okay, guys, one shot is going to kill you. So make sure you've got one of them on so you can just charge in and do your bit there. The gear bonus, uh, this is where you want to get all your weapon bonuses now, guys. Okay, so go with the uh, Shotgun Amp. And then for the weapon bonus, go to the shock and rail amp. Okay, and that's your little volus. But what's that, what I meant earlier by um, him being more flexible and more uh, sort of t he can get involved and help the team more is because if he uh, if enemy's taken uh, sorry if a teammate is taken down by an enemy, you can charge that enemy and then you can wreck them, and then you can pick up your teammate and just shield boost them. Okay, guys, so that's it. So you're like, you're like a super medic, you can just fly around and pick up your teammates in an instant, and then you can also get involved with all the objectives. Okay, guys, because you can cloak as well as shield boost, so you can just sort of shield boost, cloak, and get the sort of um, devices done uh, you can just uh, stick around with the teammate and spam shield boost for them okay so you can get um, uh, escorts and hacks and uploads done okay so you can really just get involved and be very versatile with him okay he can go out there he can hold his ground and put out a lot of damage but then he can sort of t uh, pull back and help the team out when they need him okay guys uh, so there yeah, the forest protectors are cool little vanguard uh, now you've got my favorite vanguard here this is the batarian brawler um, he's uh, basically like a heavy melee version of the N7 Slayer, okay guys, because he's able to charge in and get a load of damage reduction frames with this heavy melee. His biotic charge go with uh, the radius and the weapon synergy, because he hasn't really got a power that does a lot of damage, okay guys, you want to be doing your damage with your weapon synergy if you're not meleeing, and then obviously you want barrier again. Lash is still ridiculous for your vanguard, so don't spec into it, but blade arm is fantastic for a vanguard, it's awesome that this guy's got it. You can go with the melee damage to increase your melee damage, obviously, but then you can get the damage return okay so but, but when you're in the enemy's face they always go to slap you okay guys and this ends up biting them in the eyes okay because when they melee you 150% of that damage returns straight back to them so damage return is fantastic because you are always in melee distance of the enemy and then you want to go with the durability then so you've got a 35% damage reduction you uh, combine that with the massive damage reduction you get from the Batarian's heavy melee okay and he can uh, literally take on the brunt of a platinum Cerberus turret okay uh, sentry turret it's uh, he literally can if he just sort of charge in he's got the biotic uh, charge damage reduction and he, he he's got the damage reduction from the blade armor and if he initiates that heavy melee the, he can take an entire clip of a Cerberus's platinum um, sentry turret okay guys he will eat all that damage that's just how much damage reduction he can score okay guys so he is incredibly tanky um, for his fitness just go with the durability and then get the martial artist and the melee synergy now his melee synergy is cool because rather than increasing your power damage after a melee kill he increases your weapon damage and that's going to help you out with uh, your uh, boss targets which you can't really get the melee damage out on because they'll normally uh, hit you back or they'll just got a great um, you know a resistance to melee attacks because they're armored and stuff so then you just empty your gun into them for the batarian force they take the damage in capacity so you're lightweight so you can get the charge going as well okay guys you need that's this is the most fundamental part of all vanguards is being able to charge constantly and get your shields up then you're going to need the power damage to get the force for your biotic charge to stagger phantoms okay because that's what you can do with this guy you can charge in stagger her heavy milia and she will die in one good hit okay guys her head will come off it's very very satisfying and uh, then finally uh, go with the damage and ammo then so you got the weapon damage that's going to help you take out the bosses for the, for them you're going to be charging in shooting charging in setting off a fire explosion yes i'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> for his weapon i recommend you go with the piranha it's a nice lightweight uh, shotgun that does a lot of good armor damage for you okay especially if you put the shredder mod on it and then you can slap on the uh, the uh, melee blade here sorry the omni blade for the really nice melee damage increase and so light that you're going to be able to uh, take on that uh, weighty mod there and still charge reliably with it and then you still got that gun then to t take out the big armor bosses um, as I gave away earlier, you want incendiary rounds so you can set off those fire explosions okay guys so that's going to be a little combination for the bosses. 
And then for his armor bonuses, um, you might as well just go with a cyclonic modulator, okay, guys, and really tank out there. There's nothing else that's going to be worthwhile on this guy. And um, for his gear bonus, uh, again, many build get on that juggernaut shield, okay, guys, for the reasons I've already specified. And uh, then for your weapon bonus, you want to be uh, rocking the uh, strength enhancer, okay? And that's uh, the Batarian Brawler. He's a lot of fun just charging in and busting faces. <laughs> now we got the Black Sheep of the Vanguard family, which is the Cabal Vanguard. The last one we got with the Reckoning DLC. She's the Black Sheep simply because she doesn't have Biotic Charge. So the whole charge in and do something strategy is gone. Okay, guys, this is... Um, she's got Poison Strike. And what she can essentially do is basically dance around the enemy and just pile up a ton of damage over time. Okay, guys? And that's uh, that's how she sort of uh, takes the front line with this one because she does just get she charges the enemy but dances around them essentially. Okay, with poison strike, I just recommend you take the re range on that. That's going to be very useful for multiple reasons. Okay, guys. Obviously, it's going to allow you to get around the map really quickly. Okay, guys. But it's also going to allow you to escape situations with ease. Okay, guys. If you ever find yourself in a bad situation, you can just poison strike through walls. Okay, guys, and literally just go across uh, the entire map if you don't go cut through the right wall and stuff. Okay, guys. The range is fantastic. Fantastic on poison strike, but that's going to be your initial thi uh, thing, okay, guys. You uh, you sh poison strike right through the enemy as you would like through walls, okay, and then you poison them, and then there's this uh, poison effect that go does damage over time, and uh, that's the first uh, line of attack on her. Uh, then you've got the Nightshade Blades, okay, guys? This is uh, your main bread and butter. This, these things are badass. They're like uh, they're like the I forget their name now, the Ballistic Blades, okay? Spec them for damage. Uh, poison duration, okay, that's going to really add to the dot. And then you can go with the exploding blades, okay, so that they, they uh, stagger the enemy twice. They can, like, just like the ballistic blades, okay, guys, you hit them, staggers the enemy, three seconds later, they blow up and they get staggered again. And this whole time you're doing a lot of dot, okay? And it, this is what you can do, guys. You can essentially poison strike a nightshade blade to just, uh, and just keep the enemy locked up and, uh, just applying all this poison to them and they just melt before your very eyes. It's cool. And you can just, and you, uh, could you, uh, poison strike through them? You literally just end up behind the enemy, then they turn around to take you, and then you stagger them, and you poison strike through them again, and you're behind them, they turn around, you stagger them again, and it's just literally, that's the dance, okay, guys, you wreck them that way. Uh, the biotic focus is a really cool ability as well, this gets your shields up uh, in a pinch, okay? Go with the damage taken for the uh, damage res uh, reduction. Uh, go with the duration so it lasts longer. And then go with the biotic shields, okay, guys, because this is going to give you 40% of your barriers back as soon as you activate it. And it also gives you half a second of invulnerability, so you can time it just right. Uh, you can get take a hit from uh, an Atlas Missile or a Banshee Warp Ball, okay, guys, and not have any damage from it, okay? Uh, so that's kind of cool. But uh, this is going to allow you to uh, be more flexible, like the uh, Volus Vanguard, okay, when you need to sort of stick with the team and get uh, an objective done, okay, guys? You can play the long range game with a biotic focus okay because essentially you can just shoot <laughs> you can just uh, you can shoot use your nightshade blades and biotic focus whenever your health goes down okay um for the turian veteran it's a very much a power damage build if it hasn't made that clear already so go with the damage and capacity and the power damage and then go with the damage and stability to help with your weapon damage and then for the venom gauntlet let's get the durability okay because you are right in the thick of it as any vanguard is <clears throat> Now the weapon I like to put on her is the Wraith. This gels really nicely with what she's doing. Stick the uh, smart choke and the high velocity barrel on it, okay guys? And what you can do is just string out damage, okay guys? You can, you can, um, you biotic strike, um, no, you poison strike, sorry, then you uh, nightshade blades, and then you wraith, okay, and then you do it again, and as soon as you uh, empty the second shot of the wraith, you poison strike again, and then the wraith reloads itself, and then, you know, you've just got that constant string of damage, and if you slap the uh, incendiary rounds on that bad boy, then you've got an uh, incendiary dot on top of your poison dot, and this is why the enemy just melt on you, and uh, what's also great is that you'll be able to set up fire explosions to them every time you poison strike, so you're locking up the enemy even further then, okay, so this is just the incredible crowd control you can have with her. Uh, for the armor bonus, uh, go with the cyclonic modulator, okay, guys, because you are in the thick of it and you aren't charging and getting your shields back um, every single time, okay? So she she's uh, um, harder to survive with than any of the other vanguards, to be perfectly honest. So get a cyclonic on her. But for your gear bonus, get uh, the um, grenade capacity, okay, because that's the, the nightshade blades use grenade ammunition. So you want to be able to have plenty of them because I've just explained how important they are in your attack pattern. And then for your weapon bonus, obviously, you want a shotgun rail lamp, okay, guys? And that's the uh, um, 
the Cabal's Dance of Death. Okay, guys? And that's all my vanguards and now all of my builds. I hope these guys, this has helped you out, guys. Um, and that's it, okay, guys? I've told you how to do everything in Mass Effect. <laughs> if you've got any questions, feel free to post them and I will reply. Okay, guys? I'm, I'm pretty good at getting in touch with all of you. So, um... You take care of yourself, guys. We'll see what the future holds. Um, maybe more Mass Effect. Um, there's been plenty of requests for me to keep it going. And I tell you what, if they've got free time or I've got friends who are looking for a game, I think there's a great opportunity for that. Okay, guys? But um, again, we will see what the future holds. I hope everything's been great for you. Take care of yourselves now. I'm Bunky and I'm out.